Hey, it's Rachel. You know, I teach parents for a living tools and strategies for how to motivate more responsible behavior from their children. But the truth is that if you could had all of the tools and the strategies in the world, you would not be able to use them if you are walking around with resentment. That's because resentment creates such yuck inside of us that we don't respond effectively in the moment because we have all of these feelings of yuck inside. If you've ever heard me speak before, you know that yuck actually prevents us from interacting in a way with our children that motivates positive behavior. Yuck prevents us from acting in line with our morals and our values. So when we do feel so resentful, we actually can't respond in a way to our children that makes them want to cooperate and do what we ask them to do. And the thing with the resentment is that it builds up over and over. So after a long time, all you have is more and more resentment. It doesn't go away until you start setting boundaries. So if your child has asked you for that fourth bedtime story, even though you wanted to say no three stories ago, you're going to be so exhausted and resentful that you're not going to be able to interact effectively with your child in that moment. Or if you've asked your kids to clean up multiple times and they haven't done it and you get resentful, yet that resentment is going to prevent you from actually getting them to cooperate when you ask them to do something. So the solution is that you do need to set boundaries and stick with them. So for that child who asked for that fourth bedtime story, you do need to stop at one. And I know the reason you probably don't stop and set that boundary at this point is because you don't want those tantrums that inevitably follow when you set a boundary. But the truth is that tantrums will go away. Resentment will not. So if you need tips for how to get those tantrums to go away, you can certainly reach out to me. And if you're dealing with children who simply won't clean up when you ask them to, you have to set that boundary and say you must do at least part of the cleanup, if not all of it. I know you're probably avoiding setting that boundary because of the power struggle that ensues when you try to do that. But the truth is when you set boundaries, power struggles go away. Resentment does not. So again, if you need some tips for how to motivate more cooperation, watch my videos or reach out to me at rachel at rachel-bailey.com because it's so important that you do set those boundaries if you don't want to walk around with someone who's full of resentment and anger and someone who can't interact effectively with their children. So I hope that helps. Good luck, and I would love to hear how things are going. Until then, I'll see you next time.